Hey, it's Desi here. This is Megan. We're your take home stylist. And today we're going to show you how to get your curl on with a, a clipless curling iron. A clipless iron. curling iron. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. So there's a few things that you're going to need to achieve this look today. One is a duckbill clip so that you can part the hair. The other will actually be the styling tool, and this is a Neuro by Paul Mitchell. It's a wand style curling iron, and it's a one inch barrel. As far as products go, um, you want to use a thermal heat protector to make sure that you're keeping your hair safe from any extra heat that we're going to be using. I'm using the Hot Off the Press by Paul Mitchell. We're going to use Worked Up by Paul Mitchell, which is a flexible but still strong hold hairspray. Okay, so let's get started. I always start at the bottom of my hair and work my way up and forward, so that way I'm keeping the sections clean and organized. You don't have to take a lot of sections to make this look go fast. So separate the hair from right above the ear all the way to the other ear and take this section of hair, twist it, use your duck clip, and secure that out of the way. Next, you're gonna take your hair in the back and split it into two sections. To put everything forward is gonna make it more visible for you, therefore making the look easier to achieve. Always use your protectant thermal heat first, so that way you are keeping your hair safe from damage. I'm gonna do bigger sections just to show you that you can get through this really quickly. And there's a certain technique that you use when you are creating a more tousled look. So as I wrap my hair around the barrel, notice how each time I go around, the hair itself is actually twisting. That twist is important to ensure that it's gonna be more of a wave rather than a spiral curl. At first, you wanna let leave these alone and don't mess with them because they need to cool in that form so that this curl stays strong. And on the opposite side, we're gonna do the same thing. So again, notice how each time I wrap it, the hair is spiraling itself as it goes around the barrel. And when the barrel is facing towards the floor, it makes it very easy for the hair to just slide right off. So at this point, I'm going right about the temple of my, of my face, and I'm gonna take my part right straight across from there. Take this big section and clip it out of the way. Don't forget the thermal heat. And again, we're gonna take these and split them right in half. Now these pieces are a little bit wider than our previous section, so with your two pieces, you're gonna split them in half again. We're working with four parts of hair. But you still continue doing the pieces that are in the back first. Yes. So I want these to be more tousled than put together too much, so I'm gonna mix up the way that I'm directing these curls. The last one, I did the hair strand over the barrel, this one, I'm going to do behind the barrel. Still remembering to twist that hair as I wrap it around the barrel. Now that you have the hang of twisting your hair as you wrap it around your barrel, continue doing that until we get to the top and I'll show you what to do next. So now that we're at the top, there's a little bit of a difference that you're gonna do. To make sure that you're not getting a strong center part, I like to take this mohawk section and work as one piece. Spray it with your hot off the press. Use the neuro and you wrap just like we were doing, but instead of splitting it in half, we're doing it in the mohawk section. I've also noticed that by twisting the strand of hair itself as you wrap it around, if you have layers, this helps keep your layers together so you're not having random little pieces stick straight out. So with your bangs, um, mine are just below my cheekbones. So sometimes that can be an awkward length. I don't want to put too much curl on them, but I still want to bend. So by over directing your bangs the opposite way than the side that they're on, when you take that out, you can see it's just kind of a wave and not so much of a curl. Do that to the other side as well. Still keeping the barrel pointing towards the floor. 
and let that go. And shake, shake it, it out. out. <laughs> shake it out, shake it out. Ah, now is the time to break those curls apart. Finish it off with some worked up that I talked about in the beginning. And now you've just achieved a whole set of curls with a clipless iron. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe below. And leave us any comments that you have and give us any feedback. Um, let us know what you want to see next. See you next week. See you next week. Thanks.